Hey guys, Ryan Stewart here and welcome to part four of our video training on WordPress for small business owners. Now, now that we have gone over the basics and we have purchased your domain and hosting, we are now ready to start to get your website set up. So since we use one in one, all you want to do is come back to one in onecom and come up here to the upper right hand corner where it says login. Now you're going to use the same credentials that uh, you set up your account here with and just put them in here to log in. So we're going to use this domain and click login. And where this takes us to, this takes us to what's called your control panel or C panel. Now your control panel is how you control a lot of the things behind the, th the scenes with your website. So I don't want you to get overwhelmed here because this can get very, very technical back here. Um, but so like, for example, when you click on manage domains, it's going to take you, you'll see, you'll see your domain in here and you have to wait about, I would say give it 24 hours after the point when you buy your domain because it takes time to propagate. In other words, it takes time to get set up. But if you come in here and click on manage domains, it'll take you to your domain center and you can actually check the status of your domains. If you have multiple domains under the same hosting um, and once you have this check and it says active, then we can set up WordPress on it. But so now I'm sure you might be a little bit confused already. So before we get into getting WordPress set up, I want to talk about the difference between your control panel with one in one and WordPress. So your control panel uh, is what controls your hosting, your domain, your email, anything that's behind the scenes. OK, WordPress is what controls your design, your content what you see. So pretty much anything that you see on a website when you go to, you know, w, when you go to newyorktimes.com, right? Anything that's on the website, on the page, that's controlled through WordPress. But kind of the behind the scenes thing, that's what takes place in your C panel. Okay. I just want to make sure we have that distinction kind of clear because it can get very confusing pretty fast. So once your domain is active and propagated, all you're going to do is come down here to where it says hosting and click on WordPress. So this is what I was talking about when I said one click WordPress install. It's very, very easy to install. All you're going to do here is click install and then you can name, name it your business name. So if your business name was, let's call it West coast, we can change this later once we get into the actual website and now you're going to create a, another login and password. So this is different than your C panel. Okay. So this is how you're actually going to log into your actual website and not your C panel. Right? So come back here again. The password that you created with one and one when you paid for the account, that username and password is used to log into your control panel at one and one The password that we're creating here is going to be used to log into your actual website and log into WordPress to change the design, the content and everything that you see. And this will clear up a little bit as we move forward. So we'll just call this, uh, we'll call it Ryan. We'll call it my name. Set your password. Leave it on safe mode, leave it on English, click I accept, and then just click install. Now what it's going to do here for us is actually going to go ahead and set up WordPress on us with one click. Back in the day, you actually used to have to create a database um, and, and it was kind of a lot of work to go through the process. Um, but this is why I love one on one because they have this one click WordPress install. So as you can see, it's getting it all set up for us. Now, once it's set up, what we do here. And that's it. So once it's set up again, give it, I would say give it 24 hours. It sometimes only takes a couple hours, but it takes time for the, for the, the database, the WordPress database to actually connect to the domain. Um, it's not going to be ready right away. Um, oh, and also, so see this here. So one in one, it, it defaults to this West coast apps. What you got to do here is click, just click uh, change domain. So I already have it set up on this, on this domain down here, but all you're going to do is click change domain because um, it'll automatically default to that and then just click here and your actual domain name will show up here and you just click on that and click change domain. Um, so this would be your yourbusiness.com. Just change it to that domain and it'll set up on that domain name on that URL. Now I hope that made sense. So like I said, so give it a good 24 hours to propagate to set up and then once it's set up, then we'll talk about how to actually go into WordPress, access WordPress in the next lesson.